You are done exploring the concept of determining the nature of rivets using the value of its discriminant. At this point, you will learn about the sum and product of the roots. From the given equation, you can get the sum and the product of the roots or solution without even solving it. Or you can have it vice versa. Like from the given roots, you can get the sum and the product. And with that, the sum and product, you can create the quadratic equation. It is possible to create and form quadratic equation using its roots. First, let's find the sum and the product of the roots given the quadratic equation without even solving for the roots. Sum of the roots, the product of the roots. The sum of the roots, all you need to do is to get the value b and a and apply this formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals negative b over a. And for the product of the roots, x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals c over a. Example number 1. With its solving the roots, what are the sum and the product of the roots of the equation 2x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0? Solution. First, you need to identify the values of a, b, and c. And remember, in order to identify the values of a, b, and c, we need to transform the given equation into its general form. Luckily, the given is in the general form. A here is 2, B is negative 1, C is negative 6. X sub 1 plus X sub 2 equals negative B over A. Substitute the values of B and A. You have there negative of negative 1 over 2. And a negative of negative 1 over 2 is 1 half. So the sum of the roots is 1 half. For the product of the roots, X sub 1 times X sub 2 equals C over A. Substitute the values of C and A. C is negative 6. A is 2. So you have there negative 6 over 2. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. So the product of the roots is negative 3. Example number 2. Without solving the roots, what are the sum and the product of the roots of the equation 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 plus 0? Again, make sure that the given is in the general form before identifying the values of a, b, and c. a here is 3, b is 2, c is negative 8. For the sum, or x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals negative b over a. Substitute the values of your a and b. b is 2, a is 3. So you have there x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals negative 2 thirds. So the sum of the roots is negative 2 thirds. For the product of the roots, x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals c over a. Substitute the values of your c and a. c is negative 8. a is 3. Negative 8 over 3, that would be your product. Take note, make sure to simplify your answers. Number 3. Identify the value of b and c of the equation 2x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. If the sum of the roots is 1 and the product is negative 20, solution, first identify the value of your a and the sum to determine the value of b. So you write there x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals negative b over a. Or you write the formula for the sum of the roots. Next, substitute the things you need to substitute. So we have there x sub 1 plus x sub 2, that's 1. And the value of your a is 2, so 1 equals negative b over 2. Simplifying this by multiplying both sides by 2, cancel. You will have there 2 equals negative b. And if we simplify, we arrive with b equals negative 2. Again, the value of your b is negative 2. Next, to determine the value of c, you need the value of your a, which is 2, and the value of the product of the roots, which is negative 20. x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals c over a. Substitute the value of the product, negative 20, and the value of your a. 
Next, simplify by multiplying 2, both sides of the equation have their 2 times negative 20, that's negative 40. So the value of your C is negative 40. For the next set of example, if given the sum and product of the roots, then the quadratic equation can be formed. Again, given the sum and product of the roots, the quadratic equation can be formed. x squared minus sum x plus product equals 0. Sum here represents the sum of the roots, while product represents the product of the roots. Take note that in naming the solution or the roots, we use the variable x, r, and f. Number 1. What is the quadratic equation if x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals 2 and x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals negative 15? Again, if the sum is 2 and the product is negative 15, write x squared minus sum x plus product equals 0. Substitute sum with 2, substitute product with negative 15. Simplify x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Minus 15, if you multiply positive with negative, the result would be negative. So the answer is x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Example number 2. If the given roots x sub 1 equals negative 10 and x sub 2 equals negative 4. Question, what is the quadratic equation? Solution. So we need to determine first the sum and the product of the roots. Let's start with the sum. x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals negative 10 plus negative 4. Negative 10 plus negative 4, that's negative 14. So the sum of the roots is negative 14. Next, for the product of the roots, x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals negative 10 times negative 4. Negative 10 times negative 4, that's 14. Afterwards, you write x squared minus sum x plus product equals 0. Substitute negative 14 for the sum and 4t for the product. Simplify x squared plus 14x plus 4t equals 0. So the answer is x squared plus 14x plus 14 equals 0.